North Park today. For native San Diegans, it's not at all the way they remember it as kids, or even the way they still think of it. But this is reality, the way it really is today. You may remember when it was one of the biggest shopping areas in the city. This was the first J.C. Penney store in San Diego. It's closing. Things have changed. So many things have changed. The changes seemed incredible then. But they still do, even today. This whole area was an orange grove. It was owned by a man named Hartley. And in a matter of 10 or 20 years, that orange grove turned into a neighborhood, the neighborhood just north of the park, North Park. When North Park was in its heyday, the sign of the times was the Toyland Parade. In the 1950s and 60s, the crowd would line the streets, eight and 10 people deep. In Southern California, it was second only to the Rose Parade. But as people moved to the suburbs and shoppers moved to the malls, interest declined in North Park, and the parade became only a memory. Until last year, the community started it up again, a sign of new times, changes for the better, and new life in North Park. Like this bakery on 30th, it's been here 40 years. Is it a pretty good bakery? I think it's probably one of the best in town. Dying breed, less of a dying breed. Why a dying breed? neighborhood, changing times, different demands. By changing with the times and going wholesale, Arnie's keeping his bakery alive. Betty Whitaker has seen all the changes. She grew up in North Park, lived through all the phases. Now she sees new life and new beginnings. But the thing that's exciting though, I think, is the younger people who are now in the business association and in the community association. You've met some of them and the ones that are starting up the parade. And they have the same kind of enthusiasm my parents had in 1924 and 1931 when they started the first parade. We have a lot of problems, but I think it's this community spirit of people that's going to make the difference, and we have that. Betty's talking about people like Karen Arter, who owns a children's shop and is running the parade this year and Katie McGee, who chose to move her business and her home to North Park a few years ago. I think it's uh, going to be a great place um, in the next couple of years. And it's, um, it's a real family-oriented type of neighborhood. And it has a, a real family feel about it that you won't find, I haven't found anywhere else really. It was always a real family atmosphere for Darlene Huhuli. She grew up on this street. But the changes she's seen recently, well, she doesn't think they're for the better. Across the street in the block she faces, only four homes are left. It's a picture representative of development in North Park that's been destroying single-family homes, replacing them with apartments, and changing neighborhoods forever. Darlene says she doesn't know her neighbors anymore. She doesn't even have a place to park. It's sad. It's sad because it's not, it's like, um, I don't know, just one, one house on top of the other. But it's not like a home area anymore. In fact, most of the people act like we have no right to be here, you know? I mean, it's strange because they act like, what are you doing here? What do you want a parking place for? You know, they get upset. It's like we are the ones that shouldn't be here anymore. It's a weird feeling. A businessman would give you a different story. Chiropractor Gerard Jackson has been here for 40 years, and he has a different perspective on the apartments. Oh, I'm for it, because it concentrates the population. Yeah, we have a higher density of population, so it's more business for us. But you don't feel like it's destroyed the neighborhood? Oh, no, I don't think so. But it was residents like Darlene Huhuli who won a major victory this week when the city council passed an emergency ordinance to limit this kind of development and preserve single-family homes. Residents fought for this action for a year and a half for changes. Yet another sign of the times, a sign of people taking an interest in and taking charge of their community, driven by the single desire to make it a better place to live, to make it more like the old days, and to ensure better days for their children.